Oh, what's up fellow engineers, Dr. McKay here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm bringing you a tutorial on the replay tool. Now, it's been a while since I've done a tutorial video, so just bear with me a second. So, with the replay tool, obviously, I've been doing a small, short series with my Stargate ships, obviously, doing like a cinematic camera perspective. So, obviously, I've had a few people ask me, how, uh, how do I do it? Well, essentially, I use the replay tool. So this little tutorial guide video on the replay tool is basically to show you how I do some of the animations or stuff within what I'm recording. With all that said, if you like my content, please feel free to hit the like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. It does really help me out. I'm well over 500 subscribers now, so we need to get to 1,000. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It does help me out. So essentially, you want to be in creative mode, or if you're... In, a, in in your own world, go to creative mode. So obviously I've set up a little, like, like you know, some stuff here so we can use. All right. So essentially, get me a HUD back up. So you want to press R B Y to bring up the admin screen. Click on enable creative mode. All right. Now I'm not sure if it works without creative mode, but I have creative mode on anyway. So so while you're in this screen, if you go to the top where it says admin tools, click click on that, and down the list. Here, you'll see replay tool. Click on the replay tool, and it comes up with obviously your stuff, like your your controls, and obviously how to use replay tool. Now, it's pretty straightforward if you really un if you understand it and how to use it by the instructions given. But obviously, sometimes reading the instructions doesn't quite make it clear sometimes of what you got to do or what you can do with the replay tool. So this is what this video is about. This is how you can what you can do with it and how to do it. So, what I want to do is, I have two puddle jumpers, I want to basically have them both flying at the same time and come down and land, and I have a hangar bay over here with a ship inside that I basically want to take off as well, alright, and I want to do it all while having this camera, or this character, as a camera to basically fly around and, like, basically do stuff. So basically what we need then is we need at least, we need one character in there, another character in there, I need one in the tower to open the door, and then one in the ship inside the door. So to do this, we go into the menu, and basically, before we do anything, make sure you save it. Alright, so basically, go into your menu, and you do add character, and it'll spawn a character, and I see one just popped in. So we need, how many did I say? Four? Let's do five, so we can have an, an extra guy lying around just if we need it. So bring five in, so that's two, three, four, five. As five, five characters. Now, they'll just stay there and do nothing until you obviously go into them. So to go into them, basically in the same menu, just below it says change character. And it'll take you into one of the characters, which is the last one you spawned in. So basically, to fly ships in, obviously, replay tool, you need to have the ship not locked to anything, already floating. Right, because for some reason the replay tool doesn't do quick action bars or buttons or doors. So you need to have everything ready to go as if you were just about to fly, but with your character. So, what I'll do, I'm going to jump in, get this character to jump in here. I'm going to shut the door. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to change character a minute to this guy. Alright, get in the second one. Jump in. Oh, wrong button. And I'm going to change character again. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to have one guy come out of the ship as, as it lands. Well, I hope, well, it might do, might not. We'll have to see how it works. So just have him like there and see what happens as we do it. So we change character to this one. And this, this guy is going to, don't mind me. This guy's gonna go in the ship in the hangar.
So I got obviously uh, my small grid deadless in here. Yee. So obviously we're gonna sit him in the cockpit as well. I mean, change character. Not that one. Not that one. I say I should have one left. <sighs> we close the bay. And obviously I have a sensor up in here. Which is there, as you can see by the block. And that one opens up the hangar. So obviously this this character I'm using now will be the one that opens up the hangar. So we just leave him out here a minute and we can do some stuff. So now we're in this one. We want to turn our engines on. And we basically want to position all of our pieces in the places that you want them to start with. Like in the like the start of the scene. So if I just fly him, for instance. over here and let him stop then I'm going to change character to not that one I want the other guy in the cockpit this one I'm going to turn this one on as well and we're going to fly say let's fly over here so different different place so it's not next to the other one <sighs> alright so here we a good place to be. And obviously, I want to land them in the the squares I've made. Right. So change back to this character. That character's fine. This is inside the hangar, and obviously can't see what's going on. But we want to make sure our engines are on, and we're not locked to the floor. So slightly up a little bit. I think we're good. Obviously, when the door opens, we'll be thingy. All right, we'll be obviously off the ground. So change character back to right, this one. This one is obviously our camera guy. We, now we don't want to touch this guy in the replay, otherwise we won't be able to move him later on. So what we're gonna do? We're just gonna park him here, and we're gonna leave him in third person, so we know which one he is. All right. So we're gonna leave leave the like camera there, and we're gonna basically save it. So now, now you got all your people in the right position. Now we saved it. Wait for the thing to save. Right. We want to basically now go to record and replay. All right. And then you move one at a time. Obviously, not one at a time, but you watch me and you'll see. So record and replay. Now we're replaying and recording. I'm gonna move this guy. Now, as long as you keep your speed relative and not go straight to 100 meters a second, the, the replay should capture the, the, what you do relatively well. If you go too fast, though, it tends to mess up and wants to not do what it wants to do. I've had many times where I've got like flown a ship straight at full speed and it's kind of gone down. So again, I'm going to land on the square. Doesn't matter how long you take, just... Now, what I'll do... As I land... I'll turn, I'll turn the engines off. And lower the ramp. Now, now I've done that, you'll go back to your menu and do stop recording. And then what you want to do is then click reload world. But don't do anything else, just reload world. So I reload the world. See you in a second. All right, now we're back and we're in the puddle jumper that we just moved. Now we do not want to touch this jumper. Don't don't move it forward. Don't do anything. So you'll mess up the replay. So now I'll go to the menu by pressing R, B, and Y, and go to the replay tool and change character. So we don't want this one. We want this guy. All right. And now, if I remember rightly, without moving the the ship forward or backwards if I just lower the ramp the guy's in this one yes he is right okay so what we want to do we go back to the menu and do record and replay and now as I move this one the other ship move at the same time so here we go
As you see a shadow on the right. And obviously, because we want to move the man after we've landed. There goes the jumper. Now we're down, engine's off. Now I'm going to lower the ramp and I'm going to change character. Not to that one, not to that one, not to that one. To this guy. Then I'm going to walk him out. Slowly does it, keep him about 3 meters a second. Now again, the ramp may not lower. And there we go. And I'll just leave him there for a minute. Do stop recording and then reload world. Now as you can see on the other jumper, the ramp didn't lower, so this guy may just be walking into the back of the jumper. Which may 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 work. It may not. Yeah, it's like 50-50 out of like well it's not 50-50, it's like one in one in ten. Because like I've I've done the quick action bar many times and it just it works once and then doesn't work so it really does depend on if the game allows it I think they need to improve the replay tool a lot better so as you can see we're but both we're back to the beginning we're gonna change character to the uh, where's the this guy uh, basically we're gonna record and replay Obviously, wait for these guys to come down before I move this guy. So, I'm not moving him yet. It's quite cool watching them. As long as you keep your movements like simple, the game can like re re obviously record it how you did it. So see that's both the jumpers down. Now I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna walk slowly up here. And now I'm gonna go to here. Wait for the beep. And then change to this guy. And I'm gonna press A. Why not go that? Not typical. What's going on? There we go. Alright. So that didn't quite work. So we'll just stop recording now. And do reload world and see what happened. For some reason it stuck back to the floor again. And we don't want that to happen because like I said, quick actions don't work. I was open obviously because you can, with the replay tool, you generally reload to move them at the same time but if you have something that goes in a sequence like you move one character then the other one moves after the first one's moved then you could do the same movement within the same recording that makes sense but generally if you, you, you do things roughly at the same time so we want to switch to um Look at this. What's going on? Ah, okay. 
Right, so we're gonna just change character a second to uh, this guy. And we're gonna do record and replay. We're not gonna touch him, because he's already got movement. So obviously if you touch him now, I don't, one, I don't think you can move him because he's already got movement, but you just don't want to mess it up. Well, as you can see, it's not it's not easy and it takes time to do a, like a script of movement. So you can see how hard it is for me to do my uh, little short series, even, if it, even though it's like eight minutes long, my videos. It's hours of work put in. So obviously once they, they land, this guy spins and goes up to the thing. And then once the doors are open. <sighs> Am I going to turn? Maybe not. Do it myself. Alright. That's the doors opening. Obviously, the ship comes out and flies off. We're not going to go too far, it's just for demonstration. Like that, do. So, stop recording, reload the world, and let's go to our camera guy and see if the uh, what we just did works. Now, like I said, sometimes trying to do very complicated things like opening doors and moving you know the game doesn't always register what you do or and like I said it doesn't like the quick bar so the replay tool is only very useful in space because you have nothing like yeah you, know, you just put a person in the ship and fly the ship yeah obviously moving characters on the floor you know it's time consuming especially of multiple characters but obviously the movements of the characters sometimes aren't recorded correctly so we want to uh, change character to this guy and instead of doing record replay we just click replay and it will just do what we just recorded so do replay and this guy is stuck oh anyway let's see this guy's stuck so I'm not sure why he's stuck And pass. Oop. So we've got the ships coming down. So as they land, obviously there's a few seconds between like the ships landing and then that guy going up the ladder. And if the guy goes upstairs inside, then hopefully the hangar thing moves. So they landed, is this guy going to move? Is he going to move? This guy's all totally going Oh, he's moving. Going up. Door should open. Yeah, nice. Still frozen though. Now is the deadless going to move or is he, is he stuck? That's the question. I believe he is stuck. Well, you can see the point I'm trying to trying to show. Okay. So what I can do is now we know what went wrong. Basically, you stop replay, and then you basically delete recordings, save the game, so you kind of reset everything. Obviously, now I can move again. All right. So we know what the problem was. I think with the deadless, it's stuck to the floor. It's stuck to the floor. I think so. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna reset the pieces of, of that we have. So we go into replay tool and we just quickly change our pieces or reset them. So we put that on there. This will be quite quick though. It's already we know what we're doing. So just chuck that guy there. All right, we can delete this guy. So we just remove that character. 
we don't use them. Uh, sometimes as well, you gotta get out of the cockpit and into the cockpit again to fly. For some reason, the game just don't like the replay tool sometimes. So moving back there somewhere, let him sort himself out, and we want to get this guy off the floor. All right. Oop. All right. Make sure he's off the floor a decent bit, but not too high so the door slams in his face. I just make sure we are uh, got clearance. Yeah. yeah. Plenty of clearance. Now he, sh he shouldn't sink either. So, because the gravity is good for gravity. Right, we're looking at even there. And then we've got to change character to our camera guy again, which is this guy. I'm just going to shut these doors. And then we're going to quickly smash out the uh, replay. I won't, I won't narrate, I'll just go as fast as I can to see if it works right. So we want this guy first. Save to make sure we have a solid start point. So if you don't save now, when you reload the world, it'll reload from the last save you did. So always make sure you save it before you reload, uh, before you replay. So now we've saved it. We want to record and replay. I'm going to fly this guy down. Go land him down. Ever so gently. Now he's down. We stop recording. Reload the world. Do the same thing with the other jumper. Also, thanks Apple Slice for your comment. I am doing my best. Now obviously if you have loads of mods in your world it takes longer to reload the world just a little heads up because I use at least 10 mods when I do my series and it takes like maybe 5 minutes to load the world. So imagine imagine having to do this like 10 to 20 times per script. Yeah it takes a lot of time. So now we're back we're going to not touch this guy we're going to change over to the other jumper. Re record and replay. Flying. As you can see the other jumper moving. Remember not to go too fast, otherwise the game may misread stuff. And as we're down, we're gonna stop recording. Reload world. Like I said, there's a lot of reloading worlds, so it does take its time. Yeah, mate, a lot of work goes into some of my videos. And obviously, yeah, I've been doing this now for two years, like YouTube. So I'm getting better, getting better. You know, I just had a lot of people ask me how I, how I do my Stargate short videos. Like, do I have other people? No, just myself and a lot of time. So now we're back. we are changed character to the guy by the stairs, which is this guy. And we're basically going to record and replay. And obviously, wait for these jumpers to land back down. Now the jumper's landing back down. I'm gonna turn the guy. Go upstairs. Now the door's on a sensor, that's why it opens automatically. Open up the doorway. Just run into the wall. And now that's done. We're gonna stop recording. And then we're gonna reload world to be safe that we can move the deadless out of the hangout when the doors are open. So obviously you can you can go to the Daedalus, for instance, if you had something similar where you had to wait for something to happen and then move the the next next character after that first thing that you just wanted to move, and you can do it within the same recording. However, to be safe, it's better to move them separately per uh, replay. That way it saves, 
and you don't have any like because if you do like five things in a row and then you mess up you have to then redo those five things whereas if you mess up this one it shouldn't it's not too bad if because you can just reload the world without doing anything anything much so we're back to it we got change change to deadless and then we're gonna record and replay now this may be a bit difficult because I cannot see outside so so we just have to kind of hope we hear something so the jumpers are going to be sat down in a minute one guy's moving all right that's the door open there we go doors open and then Deadless comes flying out full speed off he goes like I said, we're just demonstrating this. Go forward a bit and that. Right, that'll do. I'll wait for him to come to a, a complete stop. We're gonna stop recording, reload the world, go to our camera guy, and see if it worked out quite well. And obviously, uh, yeah, as you can see, obviously, do it in my videos. I have like, like the la last one I did. Obviously, I had two character guys on the floor, on the ground, it, well, that was from the jumper. Then I had, uh, I think it was three death gliders and Elkesh. And let's just say I had to do, I did have to do the Elkesh and gliders flying over up, up, about ten times different recordings because sometimes it would be too fast, sometimes the angle would be off and they'd hit the floor or crash into each other. As you, if you saw in the video, they did crash at one point, but they didn't crash when I did it. So we're going to change character to our camera guy, which is this guy. We're going to, we're going to move him a little bit to make sure he can move. I'm having flying, just in case. All right, turn the HUD off. All right, now we're going to do replay. So not record, just replay. I right, can move. That's good. So obviously your camera guy will be the guy following whatnot. So obviously you can have him with the camera. So obviously those are the jumpers landing. Now we go to pan to the guy going in the tower. There's the doors opening. And there's the deadlifts flying out. There you have it. One little scene. Now, that took me half an hour. Yeah, and that was two attempts or two run throughs because the first time I did it didn't work. You know? So, and there's so much more you can do. And obviously, you can add as many characters as you want in, in the game. And obviously, and even if you just, just stop replay now, they just stay in their positions. So you could basically now delete all your recordings. Obviously, once you've captured your footage, if you're doing it for cinematography, and then um, save the world, and then you can carry on doing replay, like per step, you know, at, from your from the positions that you left your characters in, which is pretty good. But like I said, you know, you can go obviously with, with mods. You can bring down a uh, or spawn in a. Uh, whatever this contraption is called um uh, medical station it's the word go into the thing and you can obviously change your like outfit or if you wanted to go proper crazy it's not what i wanted to do i don't know where my man was running to i'll try it again you could go spider boy and be a creepy ass looking spider Arr. And it doesn't doesn't attack. You can jump, but as far as it can go, yeah. And the replay tool would you can use it for a bunch of spiders versus people. As long as you don't have well, if you're in creative mode, you can't die. So I'm not sure if replay mode can be used without creative mode. That's something you can have to try yourself. But yeah, some creepy ass spiders. Yeah, look at this thing. Look at that face. Proper like, yeah. I've had a bunch of these come at me on Mars. Literally jumped out of my bloody skin. Yeah. Or you can go wolf as well. Yeah. Which is like, you know, not too bad. But for some reason, he's a. Uh... What's going on? 
Uh, I think he's broken. It's broken. The hell? It's he's just not, not running. He's having a freak. He's freaking out. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, so you can get a bit creative, and obviously there's a Star Wars mod pack as well that you can get Star Star Wars characters. So you like, yeah, if you wanted to build a a uh, LA, LAAA, LAAT gunship, you know, like, a, you know, and a bunch of clone troops, you can land the gunship down, have a bunch of troops fly out. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I've seen someone on Facebook do it. So hopefully I've, uh, like, you know, taught you something that you haven't before and hopefully maybe get your creative thinking going for something you want to do. It's all. It is also good to showcase off your own ships if you wanted to have your ship do something, but don't have the right camera angle being one player. So you can always replay, do the replay tour of your one ship, showcase it off, and then have a secondary character as a camera to follow it. That's a good idea for some showcase videos. Now, I'm not a master at the replay tool. I'm just really starting to learn it. So obviously there are things I maybe not know, know yet, but obviously if, as I'm playing with it, I may get to the point where something new comes up that I, that I find out that's different than this video and I may bring out another video. So until then, thank you for watching. Like I said, I hope, I hope I've taught you something. And if you like my content, please like, comment and subscribe. It does help my channel out. And with that said, I've been Dr. McKay. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.